we just witnessed the inaugural edition of the Under-19 T20 World Cup. We saw some wonderful performances with the bat and with the ball in that tournament. The Senior T20 World Cup is going to be no different. But who are the players who can create that impact with the ball and bat? Well, let's have a look at some of the players to watch out for in this tournament in Outside View, powered by Elista. Smart ho raha India. Jaise India mein bana Elista Smart LED TV with world-class clarity and amazing features. So I'm going to tell you the players to watch out for from both the groups. In this segment, we'll be talking about Group 1. Now, Group 1 includes Australia, Bangladesh, South Africa, Sri Lanka and Australia. So I'm going to start this segment with a player from Australia. The mighty Aussies have been dominating the proceedings, whether it's the 50 over format or the 20 over format. They have so many players who have been performing for the side for so long now. A star-studded list there, difficult to pick one player. But we went ahead here with Darcy Brown. Now Darcy Brown is definitely an exciting fast bowler in the current lot of players, isn't it? She is just 19 year old and it's difficult for us to believe it because in her relatively younger career, she has produced some wonderful performances with the ball and has created an impact with her bowling there. She has those lethal bouncers in her armory and can create the magic with the new ball as well. So definitely do watch out for Darcy Brown in this tournament. Let's move on to a player from Bangladesh then. Well, Bangladesh have included four players from the Under-19 T20 World Cup squad for this T20 World Cup. There are three actors there, well, Shorna Akhtar, Dilara Akhtar, Marufa Akhtar and Disha Baswas. We are going to talk about Marufa Akhtar here. Now, Marufa Akhtar has been consistently performing well for Bangladesh in the Under-19 T20 World Cup. She finished the tournament with eight wickets to her account. And the special thing about her is that she can be effective with the ball not just at the start of the game but at the end of the game as well and that gives her an edge over others. It's now time to talk about a player from New Zealand and that's going to be Fran Jones. The left arm spinner has shown a lot of promise ever since she's made her debut for New Zealand. She was a part of the Under-19 T20 World Cup squad as well but couldn't play for the team as she was injured but now she's fit and fine and we'll see her play in this T20 World Cup and that's going to be a good advantage for New Zealand. She's termed as the future face of New Zealand. So let's see what is her best game and how she brings her best game to the fore in this World Cup. Let's move on to the hosts then. From South Africa, non Kululeko Malaba can definitely be one player who can have a great say in this tournament. She is in a very good form. In the Tri-Series versus West Indies and India, she finished as the highest wicket taker there. Now, she has good form, she has been performing well for South Africa. That's already an advantage to her because South Africa also won the Tri-Series there. They have the momentum by their side and the left arm spinner, her contributions with the ball will be very vital for South Africa's campaign there. So, let's see how she goes about her game in this T20 World Cup. So, here we are left with one player and one team and that's Sri Lanka and we're going to talk about one of their most experienced players, that's Inoka Ranavira. Now, it's a no-brainer that we know for Sri Lanka to perform well, you have to have your skipper, Chamari Atapattu and then the experienced spinners, that's Inoka Ranavira and Oshadi Ranasinghe to perform well for Sri Lanka. Oshadi Ranasinghe and Inoka Ranavira, when they bowl in tandem, we know that Sri Lanka are in a very good position to win a game. But for that, we know that Inuka Ranavira's contribution specifically will be very important for Sri Lanka. She finished as the joint highest wicket taker in the Asia Cup as well. She has a lot of variations in her bowling and that may be a difficult task for batters to read her and that would give her an edge over the batters. But Sri Lanka would warn that Inuka Ranavira continues to perform well for the side. She has a lot of experience under her sleeves and that's going to help Sri Lanka in this tournament. But that's what is a big task for Sri Lanka considering the group that they are placed in. So these were the five players to watch out for from group one of this T20 World Cup. Who according to you is going to have a greater say in this tournament? Who's your player to watch out for? Do tell us in the comment section below. And for all the updates on women's cricket, you know that you have to stay tuned to women's cricket zone and to the outside view powered by Elista. Smart Aura India. Jaise India mein bana Elista Smart LED TV with world class clarity and amazing features.